Hey, I'm Honor Wolf, and I'm going to be talking today, today a little bit about the basics of ultrasound. Not the physics, but identifying patients and getting the correct scanning planes. The first thing is with any procedure you do in medicine is you need to identify that you have the correct patient. And in doing that, talk to the patient about why he or she is here. Again, confirm your name and be sure to introduce yourself. As with any procedure in medicine, universal precautions need to be used. That includes making sure that your table has been cleaned, that we change the cover on the table for each patient, and that our probes are cleaned. One, uh, something that we use is a disinfectant spray or uh, cavi wipes. Uh, care must be used that you use something that is not going to damage the surface of the ultrasound probe itself. The second thing is, when doing an ultrasound on a patient, a glove should be worn. You should demonstrate attentiveness to your patient's comfort. In general, an obstetric patient will be um, lie flat or supine on the table, but as pregnancy progresses, patients will become increasingly uncomfortable lying flat on their back, and you may need to position them so that they have a left or right lateral tilt, depending on uh, which fetal structure you're imaging at that time period. Um, so when we do obstetric ultrasounds, we sit to the patient's right. And as you can see, this is the ultrasound machine, and my patient would be lying right here. And that's comfortable for us because most people scan with their right hand. When exposing a patient to be um, ultrasounded, it's important to pay attention to the patient's privacy. In general, we lie the patient flat, and the area below the pubic bone is covered with a towel or a sheet before pulling the patient's um, top up. The top is then pulled up to approximately the level of the ribs so the entire abdomen can be exposed for uh, scanning the patient. Because the pregnant abdomen is a very large surface area, it's very important to use a sufficient amount of gel, and that's a lot of gel. Um, how much is sufficient will vary, but you're going to need to have enough gel that no matter where you go on the abdomen, there is gel between the ultrasound probe and the patient's abdomen because any air that gets in that interface is going to interfere with the quality of your image. I'm going to orient you next to the probe. This is one of the ultrasound probes that we have. Um, and you'll notice on the top of all, or on the side of all ultrasound probes, there's going to be a notch. And in this case, you can see it runs here with another notch. And this probe as well is going to have a notch that you're going to see on the lateral side of the probe. When orienting the probe, when scanning in the sagittal position, the notch should be up toward the patient's head. So again, oriented to the patient, this would be a, a sagittal view of the patient, and the notch is toward the patient's head, not toward the patient's foot. When you are scanning in the transverse position, the notch goes toward you or on the patient's right. And again, you can see the notch is on this side, not on this side. Correct orientation of the probe and standardization of images is important to tell situs on fetal parts and also to orient the reader to the images that you're taking of the fetus. If you look over here on the machine, there are several buttons that you can adjust depending on the patient. There are several buttons on every ultrasound machine, and I'm going to focus on two main things, and that's going to be changing how deeply you are scanning within the patient. And that, and also adjusting the brightness of the image, and then also talking about color Doppler. The first is the depth button. The depth can be adjusted in a patient, so you are scanning at a very shallow level, very close to the patient's skin, or in our heavier patients, or in patients who are at term, so that you can scan more deeply into the patient. And again, this is the depth button I'll be demonstrating. The second thing is the button that um, adjusts our gain, and this will adjust our 2D gain, so you can make the image brighter or you can make it darker, and I'm going to show you that on the patient. And finally, I'm going to be showing you color Doppler or power Doppler, which is going to show you blood flow through uh, vascular structures within the patient or fetus. So this is uh, Ms. Jones, and Ms. Jones is in her third trimester with twins. And what I'm going to show you is how we expose the abdomen. Again, we leave her covered at the top, and before we pull her top up or her pants down, we place something, and in this case it's a towel, over her abdomen. This helps ensure her privacy, and it also makes sure that the gel that we've got on the abdomen doesn't go all over her clothing. 
we talked a minute ago about how much gel to use. In general, we keep our gel in the warmer. We're going to put it in on the middle of the abdomen. If you put it on the sides, it's going to squirt all over the place. Remember when you're scanning the patient to wear a glove. I'm going to orient you on the probe again. As we scan the patient, you'll see a knob on the top of the transducer. When you're scanning sagittally or parallel to the patient's long axis, the knob should be up at the top. That mother's feet are over toward the right-hand side of the screen and mother's head or the superior part of the uterus is toward the uh, left-hand side of the screen. When the transducer is turned transverse, the knob should be toward the mother's right or toward me. As I orient myself transverse, the knob is toward the mother's right-hand side or toward the left-hand side of the screen. So you can see over here is the mother's right on the, on the left-hand side of the screen, and over here is the mother's left on the right-hand side of the screen. I'd like to show you a little bit about depth. What you can see right now is that um, I cannot see very deeply. And what I'm looking at mainly in this area is the skin and the head. I can make it so I can focus up very high and only look at the skin and that's at a very high depth, or I can lower my, my depth so I'm seeing deeper and deeper into the mother's abdomen. The second structure that, or the second setting that I can change is the gain. And the gain changes the brightness of the image. So this is a very dark image with low gain. This is a very bright image with a high amount of gain. So you can darken your image or lighten your image with the gain button. And finally, I'd like to show you um, color flow Doppler. I'm going to pick a vascular structure. This area right here is the umbilical cord. And I'm going to turn on the uh, power Doppler, or HD flow. And you can see that it's in two colors in this case. The pink is going toward the transducer, and the blue is going away from the transducer. And to do that, all you do is to push, in this case, the power Doppler button or you can push the color Doppler button. In terms of knowing which direction the flow is going, if you look, in this case, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that the pink is going up and the blue is going down. And to know directionality, you have to check the settings on your specific machine. But in this case, the pink is going toward the transducer and the blue is going away.